it's been debated for years whether video games are or aren't art. It's been a very one-sided debate. This debate really caught people's attention in 2010 when Roger Ebert released a very ignorant essay that gets me really mad to talk about. If a Pixar movie can be art, why can't a game? Anyway, to make these works of art, you need to convey the vision of the writers and the directors to the game designers and the 3D modelers. They do this through concept art. It's beautiful, and I'm gonna tell you some of my favorite. Look at this game. The character models don't really hold up today, but the concept art does. Metal Gear has a very distinct visual identity, and you can thank two people for that. Hideo Kojima, obviously, and the lead designer on all the Metal Gear Solid games, Yoji Shinkawa. His unique style is very different from most other concept artists. He focuses mostly on line work and shadow. Most of his stuff is done with just ink, or a very limited color palette. Why, here's a video of him whipping up painting a big boss. He's incredibly talented, and he gets the feel of the Metal Gear games across beautifully. All of the Assassin's Creed games have great concept art too. There are hundreds and hundreds of illustrated environments because, well, the Assassin's Creed games are pretty massive. These paintings are at their best when you can see the brushstrokes. That allows you to see the ideas that the artist had when he was making the painting. An important part of these paintings are the color and the lighting. This allows the level designers to get the color, the lighting, and the mood just right. It's easier to work out these kinks in a 2D painting than it is to figure them out in a 3D world. The character designs are nothing short of extraordinary either. What game do you think is next? You have to know. It's so easy. It's The Last of Us. This image right here is actually the first thing I saw of The Last of Us. And sure, there are plenty of other games that give off the same post-apocalyptic vibe, but look at the detail here. It's so obvious that there's a lot of care put into this game. Although the environments are beautifully illustrated, the concept art really shines with its character designs. In the art book, there are tons and tons of drawings of Joel. They spent a lot of time trying to get him just right. You get to see a lot of different characters drawn in a lot of different positions. This allows the artist to convey each character's personality through their body language. Each and every person who worked on this game is an artist. Suck it, Roger Ebert! If you're interested in concept art yourself, there's a great YouTube channel called FZD School that puts up hour-long video tutorials every so often. There's also conceptart.org, CG Hub, and you know, just find out what artists worked on your favorite games and follow them on Twitter, Instagram, and you know, just be active. I'm an illustrator myself, and if you want to see what I do, just go to my website, bobwolf.com, and feel free to talk to me about anything that you see there. As always, like this video if you like it, subscribe if you really like it, share us, like us on Facebook, at me on Twitter. Thank you very much. Have a good week. You may all know by now that I love The Last of Us, but I'm not just being biased here. This is a genuinely awesome documentary. They show you every single stage of game development here, even QA, and nobody cares about QA. Meryl from Metal Gear. Leela from Futurama. Yes. Even though she's got one eye. Still, still all right. I can deal with that. <laughs>